Hey everyone out there, uh, welcome. And I'm just trying to get set up for everybody. So what we're gonna be doing tonight is uh, comping properties. So so what we're gonna do is we're gonna teach you how to do it the free way and then the not so free way where with prop stream and I also use Privy as well. So like I said, so uh, we're gonna go with, let's see here, the next property I wanted to, all right. So the next property I wanted to do was, Mark that is red here. All right, so let's do another property from, okay, so Lenitra put one from the 206, okay? And she put one out here in Detroit on Cortland Street. Okay, so hopefully, this one's a duplex, a two bedroom, one bath, and it needs a full rehab from the land bank. All right, now this may be a tricky one because if you're if you've ever dealt with the land bank before, I will say this: the land bank, you need to make sure you cross your eyes, dot your T's. Sorry, cross your T's, dot your eyes uh, with the land bank because they can easily take the house right back. You cannot sell it until you get a clear title. Okay. If anybody knows about Detroit Land Bank, I'm gonna tell you they're they're kind of a pain in the butt to, to deal with. All right, so we're in the okay. So is it Dexter Linwood or is it Russell Woods? So let's look at the boundaries. Dexter Linwood or Russell Woods. We are in Dexter Linwood, it looks like. Uh I'm gonna exit out of these. So yes, Dexter Linwood. We're right on the border of Dexter Linwood and Russell Woods, okay? If you don't know anything about that area, by all means, you know, uh, ask people. Now, Dexter Linwood and Russell Woods are both decent neighborhoods. Uh, this whole area is a decent neighborhood. Um, it, those are the rental, the rental neighborhoods. I'm gonna be honest with you, all right? So, again, we're gonna come back here because we're right on the border here, all right? And we're at Cortland, all right? And let's see, we go back here to Street View. Now, seeing as how we know that this needs a full rehab, I, I will say this, that uh, we know that this is probably an accurate picture of the house, okay? Um, and actually, you can see, usually you can see the, yep, this is the land bank tag right here on the door. So um, the good thing is it's a nice brick house, two bedroom, two bath, but it's gonna need a full, full rehab. All the windows are gonna need to be redone, okay? So at this here, you wanna look at the block, okay? Are, there's there a lot of, okay, so if we look on here, there's a lot of actually construction going on, but there's still a lot of abandoned houses in this area, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and we're gonna duplicate this, all right? So we're gonna come back here and Dexter Linwood, we're gonna go with right here. Is this this is our this is where we're at? We want to stay over and over this way. All right. So if we look here, okay, this is a home. It's Glendale square foot. I don't. I think this is a single family home. So I can't really compare that. You can't really compare a single family to a duplex. Okay. No matter how hard you want to. All right. Uh, trust me. We'd love to have that as a comp. 179, love, 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 but can't really have it as a count, all right? Now, I don't know how much she's getting this, the the land bank house for, um, but usually they're a lot lower. Um, Dexter Linwood, this one here is four bedrooms, four baths. So this is actually a, because of the four bedroom, yep, four unit right here. I called it, I called it, all right, four, can't really compare that, but it's nice to show. We can come down here. This is a 70,000 over here on Tuxedo Street. Okay, I can see this being a two family flat. It's just by, I'm, I'm going by by the way it looks. All right, Lenitra, you said $500 on there. So I will say this, this is a good area. If you are willing to put in the work to get that up and running and do it right, it's definitely worth it, okay? The key thing is, is whether you have the money to do it right, okay? 
Don't think that you're going to spend $500. You're going to spend a couple more grand to, to get it fixed up. I honestly, by the looks of the pictures, you're probably going to spend anywhere between 50 and 70 grand to get it the way it needs to be. Now, can you do it for less? Of course. Can you, can it take you even further up? Yes, of course. I'm just giving you a roundabout estimate. Okay. Because keep in mind, now you got to do two kitchens, two bathrooms, and that's if there's nothing wrong with the foundation. If there's something wrong with the foundation, you're going to be at the 70 mark. Okay. So I definitely think that if you were to get this and uh, were to do it right, if your exit strategy is to sell it, it's not worth it. But if your exit strategy is to rent it out, it will definitely be a cash cow for you. All right. As a section eight tenant, um, you can probably in this area for a two bedroom, you're probably going to get about nine fifty to a thousand dollars a month if you do it right. Okay. For each floor. So, um, your cash on cash return, say, say you go through this and you spend a, um, a total of we'll say $80,000. Okay. All right. Now we'll do for simple math. We're going to do, we're going to say 950. So we'll say, uh, 1900 a month times 12. You're looking at $2,280. Now, after you minus taxes for the year, you minus capital expenditures, all right, let's call it a good 18 G's. Okay. 18 G's divided by 80,000. Okay. You're looking at a 22 and a half percent return on your investment for that first year. Okay. Now the question is, is whether you have the money to put into it, that's up to you. Or if you're doing a hard money loan, then you got to factor in your interest into those payments. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, so I would definitely be cautious on that because keep in mind, if you buy it from the land bank at for $500, you can't sell that until you get the land bank. Uh, you can't sell that until you get the land bank actually to write off on that. All right. Uh, that's something specific to the land bank. Uh, there are, it, it's just, you got to follow their procedure. That's all. Okay. There are a lot of people who are experts, more better experts than I am at the land bank. So I encourage you to go out there and, and ask them. Um, but say if you have the 80 grand and I say 80 to a hundred, because you never know what comes up. Okay. If you have that to put aside or have access to that capital, by all means, I would definitely, definitely uh, uh, do that uh, because you're going to have a great return on your investment. Okay. Um, other than that, let's see here. Let's look at what other. I did not want to hit that. Let's look at what other properties we wanted. So. We will do a, we're going to do one over in Hazel Park. Okay. So Anik actually sent this one over. And so now that, you know, Hey, we did some Detroit properties. We're going to come through here. Um, you know, Hey, Lenitra, you want to buy and hold? Honestly, that's the best way. That's the way you get financial freedom. Honestly. I love it. I love it. So the question is, is whether you have access to the capital. Okay. If you have access to the capital, um, keep in mind the land bank, they want to see you do it within, I think it's like a six or nine month period. Okay. By all means, check with them to make sure. Um, and I'm sure you can get extensions, but one thing it, when you're dealing with the land bank that people don't realize is you have to, uh, take that land bank when you buy it from the land bank, send it over to the water company. Okay. They'll, they'll forgive any water bill 
before that the land bank uh, before you bought it with the land bank. Then you have to register an account, and even if you don't have the water turned on, you're still going to be charged a fourteen ninety five drainage fee. Not a lot of people know that. You're still going to be doing charge that. All right. So uh, from there, let's let's look here. We are going to close this. We are going to close this, and we're going to look at one in Hazel Park. Okay, over on Pearl Street. Oh, look at this one. Now, I don't know the condition of this. I don't know the condition of the property, okay? Um, and I, unfortunately, he did not send it to me. So I'm only going to assume it looks similar to what it looks like on here. All right. Let's see. This is... When did it sell? You can get the whole history from here. Okay, so it actually sold in December. Okay. Uh, oh, it just sold. All right. For 86.5. Guess what? There's your comp. Right there. 86.5. That's what it sold for. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go through this like it didn't ever sell. All right. Um, so I'm going to look on here and I'm actually going to pull up on Privy that. So I can see. Uh, sometimes they have the old MLS photos. So this probably did not sell on the MLS. All right, and so we'll go through the freeway. All right, we will duplicate this and come back here. We'll go back to the search and we're gonna go to Hazel Park. All right, so Got a lot of sold properties here in Hazel Park. We're gonna looking for Pearl and three nine six West Pearl. All right, and we're gonna look up just just for a reference where we're at. And so south of Nine Mile. Okay, so over by West End. It's actually borderline uh, Ferndale and Hazel Park. So, yep. And sorry, I didn't see that, uh, uh, Jim. As far as the, uh, the 1495 or 14, no, uh, for the water bill, the water sewage fee, it's $14.95, but that's per month, okay? I keep that in mind. All right. So we will come over here and we are on. Here's West End and we're looking at Pearl right over here. Now, when you're comping here, I don't want to go above nine, nine mile and I don't want to cross over the freeway. Okay. Even though it's still a decent area and still may be similar comps, I want to keep my area kind of tight right over here. Okay. 